I'm a Torres Strait Islander, currently studying grade 11 in school. Well, I've been in church for a long time because so I didn't see God as a loving father. I saw him as someone I had to please and work for. You know, and it affected my life because I was able to go to church on Sunday, but then still go and look up pornography. And like I was living this life where there were things I wanted to do, but I couldn't do them. There were things I did, but I wished I didn't. And it was a constant struggle. Once I understood who I was and my identity in Jesus, decided to believe that. And like that day, like obviously a lot of things broke off and I got free straight away. Like pornography, I didn't get free from it because I tried. I got free from it because from that place of being and knowing God and just enjoying God, there was no, there was no more praying to the ceiling, you know, because I know that God lives inside of me. You can be free from your sin. You know, you don't have to keep struggling to get free. You can be free and it's so simple. You know, all you got to do is repent. You walk this way in life. You walk going this way. You can find out about Jesus. You turn around. The old person's gone. You're a brand new person. You're righteous and you're clean before your father. Right? And then when you do go and when you stuff up, instead of letting it bring you down, you just confess your sins to God and say, God, this is not who I am. Yeah, so he's speaking to me a lot in the scriptures. Now when I'm reading, like, it's like, no way, that's who I am. I can do that. And it's just like really clear. God doesn't change. Like one thing I love about the gospel, like what, he, what Jesus did 2000 years ago, is that like it still works today. Like people can still be free today.